your UMN account has a YouTube account as it has a Google Hangout and other Google tools. They're all included with your X500. The only difference is that they are managed by the University of Minnesota. So sign into Google using your X500. You'll be taken to the X500 sign-in screen. You'll have to retype your username and password. And you should be able to sign in. Once you sign in, go to youtube.com and then click upload. Here you'll be able to do a webcam recording, a photo slideshow, a Google on Air Hangout broadcast, or edit video. You can drop a file and upload it. If your file is larger than 15 minutes, you'll have to change the limits in your account. All you need to do to change the limits in your account is verify that you have a phone. You'll go through two steps and so you basically you text message, type in your phone number, submit it, and then it's gonna send you a text message with a code and you will input your code and that's all you will need to do. Once you do that, I'm gonna switch accounts, but um, I use my phone number already. So this account's already verified, for example. So after you do that, you can upload a file. You won't have a limit, and you should be able to upload larger files than 15 minutes. Once you're uploading a file, make sure that you describe it accurately. The title is very important, otherwise people won't find it. There are over a hundred hours of video uploaded every minute to YouTube. So without labeling your video accurately, people just won't find it. However, sometimes you don't want our videos to be found. So if you don't want it to be found, you can do two things. You can make sure you don't fill any of this information out and then list it as unlisted. So you have three privacy settings, public, unlisted, and private. If you have it as unlisted, you can just share the URL for it, but people won't be able to find it without the URL. If it's public, Google's going to web crawl it, see if, um, and then catalog it basically. So it'll be added to the search engine, and people will be able to find it through the search engine. If it's not public, though, they won't be able to find it through the search engine. So be as detailed here. as you want to, as much as you want to have your video be found. That includes also tags, so make sure you write a good description, a good tag. All this information is going to be automatically saved as you're uploading your video. And once it's finished, you'll be able to go to your video manager and see the list of videos that you have already uploaded. Thanks.